Hello everyone, my name is Rehan Mundar Kohli and my name is Samaya Rawat. We are from class 6 and are thrilled to be hosting this episode of the Smart360 More Than Just News. We would like to welcome you all to our show. This bulletin series promises to update you on the happenings in the world and on all the campuses of GIIS. The idea is to share information, generate your curiosity and spread knowledge. And also have fun by learning new things. So let's begin. A team of our smart campus students has made us all proud by winning the most innovative idea award at the recently held Young Technopreneur Challenge 2022. Team Jagrakta of four IGCSE Grade 10 students, Bhakti Birla, Janvi Yadav, Shruti Upadhyay, and Aaron Anthony, has won the award for their innovative idea of using plastic waste to help grow mushrooms. As part of the competition, the teams had to come up with an idea to solve a problem related to one of the three topics to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, Singapore Green Plan 2030, or Sustainable Southwest Master Plan. The teams had a great learning experience. At the same time, they received feedbacks and tips from the judges to improve their further ideas. The annual event was organized by Junior Achievement Singapore, in which 40 teams from different schools across Singapore participated. Overall, it was an excellent opportunity for students to explore and showcase their skills as they continue to grow holistically under the GIIS 9 Gems. Smart Campus held its secondary investiture ceremony on August 5th, in which names of the newly elected student council members of the academic year 2022-23 were announced. The students were conferred with various titles such as head boy, head girl, house captains, sports captains and many others. Pratyush Bansal is our school's head boy and Pradakshina Krishnan is our head girl. It was a memorable moment for the student leaders as they walked up the stage to receive the badges and sashes in the presence of the audience. And for the parents of the student leaders, it was an absolutely proud moment as they gave the badges to their children. The student took oaths promising to take up the responsibilities of setting new goals and touching new heights. The idea behind conducting this event is to give the student leaders opportunities to contribute towards bringing positive changes in the school and helping them grow as future leaders of tomorrow. And initiatives like this make our school truly a school of the future. GIIS Ahmedabad's Class 12 student, Yuvraj Asidani, has made us proud by winning two silver medals at state-level basketball tournaments. Yuvaraj has won the medal in the under-19 category at the Gujarat State Basketball Association and Sports Authority of Gujarat Boys Basketball Tournament. It is an extremely proud moment for us and on behalf of the entire GIIS family, we would like to congratulate Yuvaraj and wish him the best for his future endeavours. Congratulations! Yuvaraj's achievement brings me to the latest sporting event every sports enthusiast's eyes are on. Yes, you guessed it right. I'm talking about the Commonwealth Games. Samaya, are you following the Commonwealth Games happening in Birmingham this year? No, because of the time zone difference, I haven't really watched the games. But I'm definitely following the medal tally closely. Yes, same here. It's absolutely thrilling to see how India has performed at the games till now. Yes, till August 7th, India has won a total of 55 medals and Singapore has won a total of 10 medals. This makes all of us thrilled beyond words. I absolutely agree and I'm sure all of us are extremely proud of our every sports person representing our country and achieving such amazing feats in various sports. Yes, Rehan, do you know that the Commonwealth Games similar to the Olympics occur once every four years? Yes, and do you know that the Commonwealth Games used to be known as the British Empire Games and only changed in 1978 to what is known today. That's amazing! And for sports enthusiasts, gear up for some fun and exciting sporting events as GIIS East Coast Campus is organizing its annual sports day soon. Also, the recently held sports trials during Athletic Quad Fest gave numerous students from the Smart Campus a platform to showcase their talent at various sports. 
For more information, look out for the DSS screens across the campus and social media pages. Can you imagine how big the world's largest plant is? Mm, I don't know. Maybe as big as our school campus? Actually, the biggest plant is a seagrass, which is approximately the size of over 28,000 soccer fields. Wow, that's huge! The seagrass has been recently discovered off the coast of Australia. It spreads outwards at a rate of roughly 35 centimeters a year and is expanded to over 180 kilometers, making it the largest plant on Earth. And according to studies done by researchers, a single seed was planted more than 4,000 years back. That's absolutely amazing! The Battle of Life is the first book that we would like to recommend today. Written by Charles Dickens and published in the year 1846, this book is a delightful read. This book is the fourth of his five Christmas books and is set in the background of an English village which is apparently a site of a historic battleground. A Christmas Carol is another one in the series. Who doesn't remember Ebenezer Scrooge and his famous retort Humbug? Charles Dickens is a popular English writer who is regarded as one of the greatest fiction writers of all time. His novels and short stories are widely popular even today. His books such as Great Expectations, A Tale of Two Cities, Oliver's Twist, etc. are popular among readers of all ages. The second book that we would like to recommend to you guys is The Shining by Stephen King, a world-renowned author. It is a horror novel about the life of struggling writer Jack Torrance and his son Danny Torrance living in the Overlook Hotel in Colorado. The story takes an interesting turn when Danny possesses The Shining, an array of psychic abilities with which he is able to see the hotel's horrific past. Add The Battle of Life and The Shining to your collection of novels today. So viewers, with this, we have come to the end of this episode. Stay tuned for our next episode where student hosts like us will be bringing to you interesting news coverage from our campuses and the latest news bites from around the world. And if you are interested in hosting this series, do write back to us. We would love to hear from you. Do share your feedback, ideas or any interesting topic that you would like us to cover by writing to us at smart360 at globalindianschool.org Until next time, this is Samaya Rawat and this is Rehan Mandar Kodi signing off. off.